crossing from Indiana into Illinois, and there's the sign. And this is the land of sketchy pulling into a downtown area with your RV. It is. It's one of those things you're like, ooh, I don't know if this is a good idea, but we're going for it anyway. Well, we called Bogarts and they said there's plenty of parking and they have semis parked out there. We were able to find street parking, so that is a win. Uh, we ordered a full slab of ribs, pickles, and pit beans for the side. On the road again two best food stops we've made so far while we've been on the road Bogart's St. Louis Missouri and Billy's Boudin in Lafayette Louisiana for Boudin balls and cracklins there is some great food on the road it's crazy to think that less than 30 minutes ago we were outside in the sun having barbecue and now we're in a torrential downpour with heavy crosswinds quick stop at the rest area for me to make a pot of coffee it's raining I just had a ton of barbecue. I need some coffee. All right, buddy? Just some coffee. Oh, got my black shirt all white. Watch out. There's a white pig on your shirt, and look, you have a white piglet in front of you. White piglet? White pig. White piglet. Just a white piglet. Just a white piglet. Yeah. Oh, good boy. I just got into making cold brew, and this is so nice to have. I just make this the night before, pour it over some ice, and I've got nice cold brew for the afternoon. Now if you're wondering what Kate is up to when I drive, my coffee was good. My coffee is now empty. I think I might have some of Kate's cold brew. I guess I'm willing to share. Well we've just made our way through Missouri and there is the Kansas sign. Two barbecue joints in one day. Be still my heart. <laughs> Are you taking your Bogart shirt off before you walk into Joe's? Might be a good idea. <laughs> and there it is. Good morning from Kansas. This is bread baked with bacon with bacon bits on top and coffee. I am going to have a happy morning while Kate is driving. We are actually going to see how far we can get from Kansas to Flagstaff today. We might make it the whole way. I think it's about a thousand miles. So wish us luck. I'm ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. What about you, bud? It was tired. We thought we had enough gas to get to Newton. It looks like we're not going to make it. Uh, the reason we want to go to Newton cheaper there about 15 20 cents cheaper per gallon so now we're gonna have to stop at a more expensive gas station get a few gallons of gas uh, that can get us out to Newton so we can take advantage of their cheaper fuel prices this is the first time I've been behind the wheel where the low fuel level alert has come on we just made it to Oklahoma it's my first time in Oklahoma it's Kate's first time in Oklahoma and gotta say it we're not in Kansas anymore um, we are trying to hit Flagstaff. I know we talked about that earlier. It is 2.30 and we're still going strong. Kate took the morning shift. I'm taking the afternoon shift. We will see who takes the later shift. But I do know that some coffee is going to be in my near future. We are in Hooker, Oklahoma. Pulled over at a gas station. And it is coffee time. I just made my cup. I'm now making one for Kate. It's a Colombian coffee that has been aged in a Cabernet barrel for, I think, three to six months, something like that. But she loves this stuff. And we've started some brats with tomatoes and random other stuff that we put in there in the slow cooker. Turn the inverter on, that's going to be cooking, so the next stop we have, we'll have dinner ready. We just rolled over to 15,000 miles on the RV, but we are just about to cross the border into our home state of Texas. This is exciting. Looks just like Oklahoma. Uh, three states in one day. We're going to try to make it four and end up in maybe around Albuquerque, New Mexico. So let's see how I feel driving. Kate has kind of hit the wall. 
she didn't get much sleep last night, so she's been a little grumpy. And I'm gonna have to be the one to take us for the win. Endless seas of cows. Joe told me he was starting to get too tired, so I'm back on third shift. We are headed to Tucumcari, New Mexico. We'll see if we can make it to uh, Albuquerque. I think we'll probably make it to Albuquerque, spend the night, and then end up in Flagstaff tomorrow. It'll be exciting to spend uh, a long Labor Day weekend in Flagstaff, where it's a cool 70 degrees during the day, and I think low 40s at night. Leo's gonna be very happy. Dream Mountain Time, New Mexico. We're about 120 miles outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it is 7.30. I think I'm good for another hour or two behind the wheel. We just had a delicious dinner out of the slow cooker. How you doing, bud? It is now 9 p.m. Mountain Time. We left at 7.30 a.m. Central Time this morning. We've driven almost 700 miles. We've spent just about $300 on fuel today. Uh, we're outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're gonna sleep at a rest stop tonight. And tomorrow, we will be in Flagstaff. It's been a long day. I'm ready for sleep. Leo's already sleeping. And I know Joe's ready to sleep too. So stay tuned for our update from Flagstaff.